Hi guys, my name's Dan. Today I'm going to quickly run through a couple of my preferred lead setups, how to fish them safely, just make sure you're fishing effectively and safely at all times. Where fishery rules allow, I always prefer to fish my lead setups on a leadless leader. This one's the Nash Klingon, really strong, easy to splice, never really let me down. First lead setup, simple leg clip. Now, key things to remember about this, always moisten the back of the leg clip before you cast out. That means the lead will easily pop off should the lead encounter any weed or any snags. Also on this one, this is the Fox Slick Leg Clip. Little peg keeps the swivel in so it can never pull out so the lead's always got to come off. Another lead setup that focuses quite a lot on my fishing is an inline. Two variations of this, simple running inline and the drop off. Now the simple running inline is perfect for your normal commercials, but you're not that fussed about dropping the lead, there's no weed or anything like that. But it's still essential to ensure that the lead, in case of a break off or a crack off, that I can still run off into the leader. With the drop off, you've got the leader running around the outside of the lead instead, so that on the take, pull out if it doesn't count or anything. Just drop off, fishing safe all the time. So, where would I use these different lead setups? Now the leg clip I always use if I'm using fishing long distance, anything over weed or any silt or anything like that. Somewhere like horseshoe is a perfect example. I want to be dropping that lead on the take. So I moisten the back of the clip beside the tail rubber on, just a small amount so it will come off immediately. Fish will rise up over the weed, giving me the maximum chance of landing the fish. With the inlines, standard running setup, use on normal day ticket commercials, something like that. Perfect for fishing inside a solid PVA bag. Gives you a nice streamlined setup. Got on there a quarter solid bag tail rubber. That it's easy for wrapping the solid PVA bag around. The drop off I'll use again in the PVA bag. If there's more weed around, I want to be dropping that lead. Also perfect for dropping in the edge. Uh, you can get away with using quite a big lead with this if you're only lowering it in the edge. It's almost like six ounces. Fish will hit that lead short hook length. Devastating. So there we go. There's a little insight into some of the lead setups I like to use. If you're unsure about how to tie any of these, there's plenty of raid tied versions available. Make sure you're fishing effectively and safely all the time. There's no excuses now. Get out there and give it a go.